So I've been wanting to do some plein air painting for the longest time. And I've only done this once before, and it was over 25 years ago. I've had this watercolor sketchbook for years, and it's just full of old drawings that, frankly, aren't very good. Just uh, failed experiments for the most part. I wanted to try out casein, so I, I got some casein, and I spent some time just covering up old drawings and trying to create some backgrounds that I could work and paint on top of before I went out in the yard and gave this a shot. It's pretty interesting stuff. It goes on a little bit like oil, kind of like a combination of oil and acrylics, and it dries really fast. Um, so I thought I would try making a landscape from a photograph as a practice painting just to kind of get a feel for this stuff. And I found it pretty challenging, actually. Uh, the casing dries much lighter than it goes on, which is the opposite of acrylic. And I found it was a real struggle for me to get contrast with it. And I think it's a much more subtle medium, and I'm going to definitely need some practice with it before I can get the hang of it. During this exercise, I found myself mixing up different shades of, of paint, both lighter and darker, and retracing my steps and, and really trying trying hard to get contrast and, and finding it to, to be a challenge. Um, and you know, it's interesting because when you're painting this stuff, when I'm painting stuff like this, especially when I'm not comfortable, uh, it seems, I mean, it feels like a struggle and it seems like it's much worse than it probably is and re-watching it later you know I think that uh, my attempt was probably a lot more successful than I thought it was at the time which again is, is kind of interesting so I really worked on this pine tree a good bit here at the end um, that's what that's what it's supposed to be is a pine tree <laughs> it's, uh, but it, you'll see here in a sec I, I make one last attempt to add some very dark values and um, ideally, I think I would have gotten those earlier, um, but you know, it, again, this is a one big experiment, and uh, you know, I'll probably repeat these same mistakes over and over again until I get the hang of it. You know, at this point, I felt pretty comfortable with it, and I know that I'm not going to get a ton better by doing more of these, and I was just excited to try to get outside and, and give this a shot. Here's the scene that I'm going to try to paint, and the, the view that I'm going to be focusing on is cropped in a little bit, but this is the, the angle that I'm looking at. I've already drawn this image before, I actually used it to show how to use a scale divider uh, in a previous video. I started by trying to wash in some darker areas and some lighter areas, and that, that was a total fail. Uh, the side of the raised bed there is much darker than what I was able to achieve and I think I was worried about covering up my original drawing lines and being able to see where the bricks were and so I went in a lot lighter than I probably should have. I also felt like I was struggling to mix up the right green but I decided just to keep on going and just push through and see how how it would go. This painting took me uh, two hours and I was only trying to go for about an hour um, but like I said it you know it is what it is I just struggled through it and tried to do my best um, I started adding details way too early uh, I think you know I've been watching too much James Gurney the guy's amazing he just makes it look easy you know he's obviously had years and years of practice and has done thousands of, of drawings and paintings and you know, it's hard not to be too hard on yourself when you're comparing yourself to people like that. Uh, but, you know, I go into these things with really high expectations. And then I find that, you know, it's not as easy as people like James Gurney make it look. I felt pretty good about the color that I was getting, um, even though it's not as vibrant. Uh, I felt 
seemed like it was a decent attempt um, at the pots in particular and the little the water bucket uh, as far as the color was concerned um, but I really struggled with the grass and with the plants um, those are potatoes in the raised bed and that's corn uh, right there in the in the terracotta pot and uh, yeah I just thought that that was gonna be easy for some reason um, easier than it was for sure uh, the you know, I did find that painting dark sort of dark colors over the green was an interesting way to try to get some texture and mimic kind of what I was seeing um, and obviously the light is changing quite a bit and so you know you do have to just remember as best you can what it looked like or what you're trying to capture and uh, I didn't find that to be too much of a problem so I'm really just struggling here I mean I feel like when you watch step-by-step -step videos online it's there's a very uh, there's a very ordered way in which um, things were done and uh, I was not doing them in order I just kept going back and forth using the tools as best I could trying different things um, if something looked like there wasn't enough detail I would try to add more detail if something looked like it was too light or too dark I would just try to fix it at the end it did feel like things were improving and I felt pretty good about where I ended up um, it's certainly not bad in my from my perspective for a first attempt in 25 years I think this is the second plein air painting ever that I've done uh, it's the first one in casein I'm pretty happy with it um, my intentions are to fill up the sketchbook with more paintings like this and document and see how far I can go and how much I can improve over the next few months. So uh, let's see what happens. Stay tuned.